Guys, in today's video, I'm going to be comparing three of the brand new LEGO Advent Calendars for 2023 being Star Wars, Marvel, and Harry Potter. If you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Now let's get into the actual video. So here they are, guys. Harry Potter, Star Wars, and Marvel. And I'm going to say all of these are pretty solid, but I'm just going to give you some extra little details to help you guys decide which Advent Calendar you guys are going to buy for the holiday season this year or if you're buying it for yourselves or a gift or something like that. Um, so to start, these are all going to be retailing for $45, which is crazy. Um, the other two advent calendars that I did not pick up, which was uh, Lego Friends and Lego City, they were $35. Of course, these are actually like shows and movies, so of course they're going to be a little more expensive than Lego property like themed advent calendars. But let's start with the Star Wars one. Of course, Star Wars probably is the most popular advent calendar that people are going to be picking up, and I'm sure you guys want to kind of see that a little more closely. So you do get some pretty awesome minifigures. You do get this Christmas Ewok, which is awesome. You do get a B1 Battle Droid with a stap build, which is really cool that we haven't seen in a while, as you guys can see there. The build is pretty cool. You do get a fun Christmas sweater, Emperor Palpatine, which is awesome with Death Star 2 on there. You do get a 212th Clone Trooper, Omega, Princess Leia, and you get a Reindeer Gonk and also a Pitchroid. You do get some fun little builds. Um, of course, you know, just some references to the Clone Wars and, you know, to the original trilogy and the Bad Batch and all that fun stuff, which I think is awesome. The background itself looks pretty good. Of course, you can see um, this is the Forest Moon of Endor from Return of the Jedi, um, which I think is awesome. It is the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, so I think that is a pretty neat nod. So overall, a really cool... Uh advent calendar you know you do get some pretty awesome minifigures so two being exclusive of course the ewok and emperor palpatine the rest are reused minifigures but i think it's awesome though um you know you can get a clone trooper a battle droid you know that princess leia from the 70 dollar uh endor diorama as you guys can see back there and just some fun little stuff like i love adding gonk droids to my gonk droid army i should do a video about that anyway though moving on to marvel i really love the background of this advent calendar so this is kind of featured in the avengers Tower um, in Manhattan, New York City, which is awesome. Um, you can see Iron Man's helmet sitting on the table there, which is really cool. And you can see, uh, of course, snowy Manhattan in the background, which is awesome. I just love the fireplace over in the bottom left hand corner. It's just kind of like that cozy Christmas vibe, if you guys uh, know what I'm talking about. You do get some awesome minifigures, two being exclusive, which we'll look at in just a minute, but you do get uh, a Captain America minifigure, a Doctor Strange minifigure, Iron Man, Wong, Okoye, and then the two exclusive minifigures being Black Widow. Uh, with her Christmas sweater and also Spider-Man with his Christmas sweater. So, I mean, a really decent uh, minifigure selection. I just love those Christmas sweaters. You do get some fun little builds such as a Christmas tree, um, a green chair, um, a snowman, you know, a Christmas Quinjet, which is awesome. And then, you know, a few little nods to like Thor and Doctor Strange and just some Christmas present wrapping, which I think is awesome. So, again, a really solid one. Um, you know, I don't know. Like, I love the minifigures from Marvel, but I also love the minifigures from Star Wars. But I'll be telling you which ones I would pick um, at the end of this video. So keep sticking around, guys. So the last advent calendar that we're going to be talking about today is, of course, the Harry Potter one. Now, Harry Potter is really popular. Um, I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan, but, like, to me, this looks really interesting, and I'm happy I picked it up. Um, the background is just amazing. So, of course, this is Hogsmeade um, from the Harry Potter movies and books, which is awesome. You can see that Christmas tree the background and just the snow uh, covered rooftops of Hogsmeade, which is awesome. Including in the advent calendar is like four shops, which I think is awesome. I think one's like Hogs Head Inn and uh, three broomsticks, and I think a two other random shops that I'm not familiar with, but you do uh, get six minifigures, of course, being Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger, um, Draco Malfoy, I want to say Aberforth Dumbledore, so not Albus Dumbledore, but like his brother, and then it looks like Madame Rosmerta, which I think is pretty interesting. I kind of love their snow gear. Um, they're kind of all ready for snow, uh, winter and stuff like that. I love kind of like the details um, they gave you with the Hogwarts sign and the Cyrus Black wanted poster and some of the candy accessories and some of the like, Christmas trees and you know the fireplace and all that fun stuff I think that is really cool but so I'm going to be ranking these though out of minifigures uh background like of the actual advent calendar and then the builds themselves so let's start with the background of the box so um, for the box I'm going with Hogsmeade um this is just awesome just like it's beautiful you know all three of them are really Christmas themed which I love but like Hogsmeade has got to take it for me I think that is really cool but 
picking like the best minifigures, I don't know. I'm kind of biased towards Star Wars, of course, but like Marvel is also really cool, of course, for those exclusive Christmas sweater minifigures. But I'm probably gonna go with Star Wars um, just because I love Ewoks, especially a Christmas themed Ewok, which is really cool. Christmas sweater Emperor Palpatine, which is awesome. Um, and you know, of course, you do get a couple of reused other minifigures, which is pretty cool. The builds themselves, um, you know, again, I'm biased towards Star Wars, but I think I'm gonna go with Marvel, actually. I am really happy with the Marvel builds for this year. I love the green chair, as I was talking about earlier. I guess that's a nod to Loki or Hela from Thor Ragnarok or Doctor Doom or something, but I love the Christmas tree, the snowman, that red and white Quinjet, which I think is awesome, and then some of the movie nods over there that can connect, which is really cool, so I love how they have that connection uh, feature, which is really cool, and I think it's just some fun little advent calendar builds, which I really like. Um, so they're all pretty expensive, though, $45. Um, as I just told you, I ranked them in those three categories but I think you guys will all enjoy these. You know, I'm sure you guys already have your advent calendar picked out for which ones you guys are going to buy. You know, you Star Wars fans, Marvel fans, and Harry Potter fans, and I'm sure you Lego City and Lego Friends fans out there will get your uh, advent calendars respectively. But if I had to choose one, though, I'm probably either going Marvel or Star Wars just because... I think they're the coolest. No offense to you Harry Potter fans out there. You know, I love the background and everything, but I just kind of felt like this was a tad bit underwhelming, I will say. Um, I don't know why I found this underwhelming. Maybe it's because I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan, but I just kind of felt like the builds were a little bit boring and underwhelming, but compared to, you know, uh, Star Wars with their vehicles and also just like the Avengers Tower stuff laying around, the Christmas theme stuff, I think that was really cool. I think Lego did a pretty good job with those. But like overall though, I mean, they're all pretty solid. They all have their pluses. They all have their negatives. You know, of course, that 212th Trooper, just take a look at him with his bad printing there. That's just awful at that point. But, you know, in some of the reused figures, you know, it's it's good. You're getting a lot of mini figures for a $45 set. But, you know, of course, they all have their pluses and minuses. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know this was kind of different from what I normally do, but, like, I thought it was kind of interesting. And I just hope this kind of helps you guys make a better decision on what advent calendar you guys want to buy. If you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. You would help out the channel big time and honestly you would make my day also go ahead give this video a thumbs up again i'd really appreciate it and you would help out the video big time i know i say that a lot guys but it really would mean a lot i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video i had a fun time putting it together and um yeah i really hope you guys get a admin calendar i definitely think it's worth it thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one